Knock it off. Stop it, you guys. To this now, turning the table on bad guys making fools out of scammers. Tonight, Carl Curtis introduces us to people who make sport out of wasting the bad guy's time. Yeah, they call themselves scam baiters, vigilantes who work to make these people look stupid using the same exact psychology the bad guys use. How do you get a guy to strip down to his underwear, wear a bra with a cucumber in his mouth while getting slapped in the face with a fish? Or how about wearing just underwear performing a religious ritual with a goat between his legs? Or running full speed, jumping through a hoop of fire? From his Sacramento bedroom, when Kenny B gets a scam email, he sees opportunity. This is going to be so great. I'm going to give this person such a run around. First, he convinces the scammer he has fallen for their scam. I'm the bass that's like yanking on that little lure to keep him going. But actually, he has them on the hook, making the con artist think they are so close to getting money. But first, they have to perform some tasks really meant to waste their time. I'm playing a video game live with a live human being, a chess game, if you will. Some so called scam baiters are so good. They get the scammers to do outrageous things, like take a picture smelling bread with a fish on their head, strap a toilet to the back of a bike riding through town, or strapping on a mankini. I'll be the one to harass them. Messaged by somebody named Lori who claims she's in Syria for a peacekeeping mission, Kenny says yes, he will help her get $10 million to the U.S. considering she's afraid of losing the funds in the war zone. And she is willing to give Kenny 30%. By the way, Lori looks a whole lot like NORAD Commander Lori Robinson, a picture from a Google search. Kenny commends her service and spends weeks getting to know her, sending her lists of pointless questions to answer. Building the bond, he also sent her this video. Just wanted to say hello to you, show you that I'm real. Asking for proof she's real, she sends this picture, again a picture we found on Google, with a poorly photoshopped message saying, I love you, Kenny B. Kenny then says he wants to establish a code should we need to verify each other's identity. He sends this picture to her with the code call Curtis. And sure enough, thinking she's about to get money, this shows up. Hi Kenny B, call Curtis. <laughs> Just dying by now. When a silly message shows up, it is considered a trophy. It amuses me, it screws them up, it ho hopefully saves somebody from heartache, embarrassment, and financial loss. And only then, Kenny sends this message to the con artist. Lori, you're a scammer. I know it. <laughs> this has become basically one of my life's passions. I will always be messing with scammers. <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> Put it. Well, the FBI estimates Americans lost $1.4 billion last year, 43,000 victims in California alone. Most of these scams involve a fake check you cash, you wire off money, only later realizing that check is fraudulent. Kenny has compiled some of his favorite scam baiting stories in a book called Transcripts of an Internet Scammer. Gosh, they must spend a lot of money trying to find the scammers. But I thought that was so interesting. A lot what of time. Is, what yeah. is General Robinson you say? You, say you know, we that. reached out to NORAD. They say that she is very aware of what's going on, and they work as quickly as they can to remove these messages. Yeah. But it appears they're aware of it. But often, a lot of these images that are used, that the scammers are using, are things are you just find off of Google. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Well, if you have something for us to investigate, let me know about it. Go to CBS13.com slash call Curtis and fill out our form.